Trump suffering a huge, humiliating loss in the Supreme Court. It's over, over, over. Like, I can't state how much it's over. It's over. So, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. Uh, so, uh, a little bit of backstory. So, Trump said that he needed to appoint Amy Coney Barrett because, oh, I need her to rig the, 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 the election for me. I'm going to send it up to the Supreme Court because I'm, I already know the election is going to be rigged. There's going to be voter fraud. And I need her to overturn the election. Well, President Trump, it doesn't work like that, you dummy. It doesn't because the Supreme Court doesn't work for you. Now, look, uh, they enforced his travel ban. They enforced all his corporate policies along with the other corporate Democrats. I mean, they've given Trump more and more and more every single time. And then Sonia Sotomayor came out and said, oh, my God, we're giving this guy more and more and more hearings than any other person. And he's not going through the process through the process of uh, going through the lower courts first and then coming to the highest court in the land. And we decide if we hear the case or not. And uh, so, OK. <sighs> He said that, right? Then he tried all the tricks that, you know, he tried getting legislators to pick new electors. He tried doing a bunch of recounts. He went to about 35, 36 courts. And all those cases, they did over five dozen cases. And they lost every single last one of them. Every single one. Every one. What, they had maybe two wins? But likely... Kind of, I don't consider those wins, but he lost. Now the Supreme Court weighing in. Oh, it doesn't get better than this. Oh, <laughs> so Texas just so here's how it happened. In the state of Texas, they believe that because they're Texas. Let me tell you something about Texas. They think. Well, here's what they think. They think they are so they are Texans before they're Americans. I don't know why I always go into that accent. But Texas, they always think that they're Texans before they're Americans. And hey, you do you. I'm not going to, you do you, child. I'm, I'm not going to judge you. You can do whatever you want. You're Texas. And in fact, they have the United States Pledge of Allegiance. But then they even got their own Texas Pledge of Allegiance. I plead, pledge allegiance to the United States and Texas or something like that. I don't know the Pledge of Allegiance. So if anyone from Texas watching this vi watches this video and says, you son of a gun, how could you? I'm sorry. But okay. So Texas goes in and says, we don't like the way that Georgia voted. So Supreme Court, I need you to um, uh, overturn the votes of Georgia, Pennsylvania, and others. I think they listed like four or five states. And they said, we need you to overturn the votes because they voted the wrong way. And we need you to to give the, the votes to Trump instead. So in other words, Texas wants it to be a dictatorship. And the Supreme Court said, hell no, what's your problem, dude? What's your problem? Because look, let's be real. The Supreme Court don't owe Trump anything. They never have to run for office or, or, or worry about losing their jobs ever again. I mean, come on. They're in the highest court in the land. Where else are they going to go? Nowhere, right? So they're stuck there, whether they want to or not. I mean, they want to. Otherwise, they wouldn't have accepted the nominations that they got from President Trump and, and Clinton and everybody else. Well, actually, I don't think any of Clinton's judges are left. Come to think about it. Um, but so, okay. So the P Supreme Court says, uh, no. They didn't even hear the case. They said, no, nah, we're going to reject hearing this case because you cannot just overturn states' votes. Like, Texas can't just go into Georgia and say, we're going to overturn your votes. You can't do that. You can't. And now, more and more Republican right-wing judges appointed by Trump are saying, no, you're losing this. So, because of this, the Supreme Court saying, hey, no, we're not going to help you. This is not going to happen. It's over. It's over, over, over. Now, look, um, Samuel Alito and uh, Clarence Thomas uh, won a Bush senior uh, appointment and won appointee and won a Bush junior appointee. Uh, you know, George Bush, George H. W. W. Bush and George W. Bush. <laughs> George H. W. Bush. Um, you know, they had a dissent saying, no, you know, we, we, we would have, we could have taken this. Uh, and, and we would have definitely overturned the votes, but unfortunately, we just can't do it right now. In other words, yeah, you guys, can you come with more competent arguments? And that's essentially what they also argued. is like, dude, you didn't even come up with a competent argument. 
And Alito even said, I have no more views on this issue. <laughs> he lost. He lost. That's it. No more. Goodbye, Trump. That's it. You're done, buddy. Sorry about that. And that wasn't enough. Because Trump then said, Trump then said, uh, I want to do a private coup. Could he go to the generals and go, Yo, hey, man, how you doing? General Milley, hey, 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 man, you want to you wanna do this? You want to do a private coup? Ain't no way. That's why Trump's got a 0% chance of, ma- of, of uh, maintaining the presidency, pertaining to it. Like, he, he just can't do it. This is a loss for the Trump era. Uh, he could run in 2024. In fact, he already said he's probably going to do it during the inauguration of Joe Biden. But this is... Uh, a loss for um, Donald Trump in the Supreme Court where he said he was going to take it. And uh, this is officially over. And by the way, by the way, Electoral College is going to verify this, what, on uh, Tuesday? And, and once they do it, Congress has no choice. Now, look, um, Mo Brooks, uh, Representative, I don't know where he's from, but... He's planning with other GOP members to go to the Senate and try and overturn this election because they're so devoted to Trump. They're out to Trump, this and this and that. Give up, dude. He's gone. He's gone. It's over. So humiliating loss for Trump in the Supreme Court. Couldn't get any better than oh, that. And also, uh, <laughs> I just had to add, you know, it, <laughs> uh, where's that civil war? Where's that civil war Republicans were talking about? Come on, Republicans. Where's that civil war you were talking about? Where are you guys? I thought you guys were going to go on the streets, huh? Huh? Where are you? Come on, get on the streets. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you're not going to do it? What's wrong? Come on, go fight for your dear leader. Let's go. Uh, uh Uh-huh. No civil war. Civil war, my ass. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's over. He lost in the Supreme Court. Nowhere else to go here. Oh, boy. Look, Joe Biden's a corporate Democrat. Ain't nothing going to change in this country uh, because we don't have Bernie Sanders in office. But guess what? Trump lost. He thought he could rig it. We were right. He couldn't rig it at all.